Hi, I'm Lindsay Miller, Director of Marketing for Artisan Embedded Technologies. And we're here at Mobile World Congress talking about our demonstration with Intel and with Vantrix for video OTT software. So at Artisan, one of our key focuses is on maximizing density per RU for media streaming applications. And one of the most critical applications for our customers, our TEMS and also service providers, is OTT video. OTT video comprises so much of the strain on the network that operators are facing today that they are looking for better solutions to solve that problem. So what Artisan has done is coupled the GPU accelerated technology from Intel with our own hardware design in this platform which maximizes density per RU. The way that we do that is we have 15 different slots inside of this box that each card has four GPU accelerated processors. And by doing that, we can maximize how much density can be delivered over the network and reduce costs for operators. Just to give you an example, a typical server can handle about six streams of H.264 AVC transcodes. So a typical 1U rack can only handle about six streams. But what this solution can deliver is over 600 streams of HD, 1080p, H.264 ABC transcodes in a small form factor. Inside our solution, we're partnered with Vantrix, um, who is a leading software provider in the video OTT space. And what they enable on our solution is the ability to handle both live linear and video on demand transcoding. So their solution encompasses both today's technology that's prevalently deployed which is AVC H.264 codecs, as well as HEVC, and different resolutions. So whether I'm watching TV at home um, on my TV, I'm watching it on my phone, I'm watching it on a tablet, or I'm using it and uploading it to social media, all of this can work on this solution. It's designed for multi-screen. If I'm watching a video, on my phone, I might get 480p resolution, whereas if I'm watching it on a higher resolution screen, like a TV or on my laptop, I might get 1080p. So we have all different types of streams being processed concurrently here. And essentially, that's the difference here, is 44 streams off one PCI Express card versus only six streams, which is what you would get on a standard server. So what we're seeing here is the ability to determine what type of traffic we want to handle in this video processing system. So we can determine which types of codecs need to be supported, whether it's HEVC or AVC, and different types of resolutions that need to be supported depending upon what the network needs to deliver to the, co to the consumer. So the VRAN is a really critical function right now because service providers are pushing more capability to handle high bandwidth traffic like video to the edge of the network. By doing that, they can reduce the amount of strain that is being put on the core network and the central office and push more to the radios so that they can handle that traffic at the onset of the network. So the VRAN is really essential function. We're seeing our customers look for more and more capability to handle high resolution video and also video that is being streamed up and down by consumers over social media.